So we're going to have to take care of that problem. Wow, you can't. Keep going. Right now. Let's see you do another one. <laughs> You're pretty good. Yeah, one more. <laughs> she did that pretty good, huh? That's pretty good. Now this is January 18th. And here we yeah. have little Cindy girl. 1991. You see how big Cindy is? Crystal is how old now? Now look the camera, 13? 14? She's 12 and a half. Stand up, Crystal. Let's see how tall you are compared to Grandma. Stand over by her. No, she's our... No, I want to I want to get a picture so that shows her height. Put her head around again. Now, I would say that she has really grown into a pretty girl here. Now I'm going to bring you up close so we can get a better look. <laughs> look straight ahead at me look at here. Those kids, Chris. <laughs> we got them laying around on the floor and everything there. Let's see, which one is the biggest couch potato of all? Right now, Crystal is the biggest couch potato. This is Margie's house. So this gal here is going to stay tonight and tomorrow, and we're going to take her home tomorrow. Turn around here, Crystal. <laughs> and tell me about school. Maybe went to a friend of hers, and Chris went to a friend of his, and Cindy's there. Then you'd be glad to see her, though, since she's sitting over here. Rah, 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 rah. I don't get to go nowhere. And uh, tell us about what's been happening, Crystal. Come on, you shy girl. Come on, you shy girl. Turn around here. I want an interview. <laughs> you got a, a shy granddaughter. Here. After all, you know. Like, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't want she would, would never know it with me way I Hollywood I getting hold of this so because I wouldn't know. want you heading up there. Well, let's go eat. Okay, as always. Eat, eat, eat. Let's go eat. That's our main thing we do. That's okay, we're off to look. the restaurant. I may or may not get something. <laughs> yeah. What's that? That's what he said on the last one. <laughs> we should have said that loud. You get over there too, Crystal, on the other side of the baby. Candace, come get your picture taken with baby brother. Now let's yeah, get a close on. up here. <laughs> this is Robert Lee. Robert he, Lee. He was born last Sunday and today now, is let's Friday. Get a close up here. <laughs> Mom, boy, he's you're not on even TV. a week yet. He's, not he's looking this way. Today's Friday and, and Sunday he'll be a week old. You got the hiccups, kid. <laughs> you guys? Hello, kid. What's this? What's his name? Zach? Zacharias? Zach as in Zacharias? Say hi. Hi. Hi, Zach. Hello there, Zach. Hey, Candace. I mean, I didn't get him walking. <laughs> Let's see you take off walking again. He won't walk by himself. Come here, Candace. Come here. Come here, come tell us. Tell us what you did today. Come here, me and Zach want to talk to you. Zach wants to talk to you. 
He wants to tell you a secret. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. He said hi to you. He wants to play. <laughs> you? Hey. Shy girl, you? Hey, Zach wants to play with you. Come over and play with you. <laughs> she runs from the camera like these bigger girls do. <laughs> Bottles are those, Candace? I heard they had a third. Uh, your brothers? Well, what's your brother's name? Huh? Bobby? Robert Lee? <laughs> hey, Cindy, come on. <laughs> Got you, got you. <laughs> no, you're not good. If it's that bad, I call my pediatrician. Her hair's not good. Yeah. Well, let's get a before and after. <laughs> you look fine. Your hair looks good. Show me your face. You got a face there? No. She doesn't want to break the it's a strong camera, it won't break. <laughs> You're all happy. No. <laughs> Come on now. Come on. Here all. <laughs> What'd you say, Tressa? Sandy's not usually bashful. Now, why are you acting that way? Because my hair's not good. Oh, your hair looks good. Grandpa, look at mine. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at my hair. Now, you want gotcha. to see some good, pretty hair? Look at mine. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Got you again. Stupid on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Yeah. No. No, they're um well, sequence. Sequences. It's right here. No, the little straps. And then are sequins. They're gonna go have sequins straps, and then it has a little jacket. It has sequins right here. It's a short jacket like this. See, and it goes right here. It's really cute. It's really cute. So you think uh, that makes Cindy look too old with her hair like that, huh? How old are you, uh, Cindy? About 16? For $138, it was 15. Can you believe that? No, if it had been her, I would have said that. But I know your mother. I can't believe it. Oh, my gosh. I'm so mad. She might be, Grandpa. Look at my legs. It's a muscle. Oh man, yeah. Awesome, muscle, huh? muscle. muscle builder. Body builder, Grandpa. Uh, yeah, hold on. Uh, <laughs> muscle builder. <laughs> uh, I'm in the old days, I guess. I bought size nine. Is that all that goes on around here? Is just food, food, food? Yep, because I don't want it to be too dry. 24 hours of food, no? Oh, yeah. And it's loose, but it didn't look bad. Yeah. Crystal, turn around here. Let's see. Mom, it's on a nine. Okay. Three cousins. It's a size seven. Stand up together and let's see how your heights compare. Go around there. Mine are blue. Why do you stand up? Your height. Oh, height. No! Because she's taller uh -huh. than me. <laughs> she is taller. <laughs> well, I was going to say that. Eyes. Show off my beautiful blue eyes. Blue eyes. Let's see blue eyes. When you eat this bread, I've got like a bread. Yeah, it's heavy. Man. We got any couch potatoes? Oh, I just caught a couch potato. Yeah, here's a couch potato. You got anything to say, cow's potato? Nothing. Nothing? What are you watching? What is this, Golden's Island? Okay, girls. It's January 19th. Okay. January 19th, 1991. 220. We're, we're leaving to go to pick Jeannie's. up Jeannie.
And you know all my instructions, Tressa. While I'm gone, you do exactly what you've been told. Uh, and you know the boss isn't here. <laughs> right? Look right. at me. Look at me right in the eyes. Hi, right, girls. Look at me in the eyes, Harold. Right there. Shut up. Yeah, what? Did that get to the I can't believe brain? It. My ears are mostly oh, failing. No, we'll be you back heard with right. Jeannie in a little bit. Yeah, in a little bit. Bye. Bye. Now you be Bye. good. Okay, bye. Follow bye, all the bye. instructions that I've given you. Mickey, oh, Crystal, Cindy, you guys watch that grandpa and make sure he doesn't... Hey, they're riding with one of the great drivers. I mean, I've been bye. driving for 45 years. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Chris, what are you doing? Look here. Look. Hold on. What are you doing? Playing Nintendo, huh? Yeah. Let's see. Hey, oh no, you're playing the road racer. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's go over here and see what Donna's doing. She's in there, man. She's working. Yeah, I'm working hard. She is cleaning up my kitchen and working. Oh, what's that? She's got in her hand there. Candy. Let's see that, Donna. What is that? See, candy right corn. there it is, right there it is, candy corn, going right there, look where it's going, <gasps> right there, okay. Yeah, yeah. it's taking then. Here's Jeannie, we finally came, we went home and got her, here she is with the whole grandma, Cindy, and Donna, Crystal, Becky, and Grandpa, and me, of course, there's Grandpa. Cindy, don't do that. <laughs> Look at all that muscle Grandpa has. You guys get back here so she can get you. Get back here so she can get you. There's Jeannie. We haven't seen her for a while. Oh, I didn't see you here, Becky. And there's Becky. We, she yes, wasn't here earlier. Yes, there's Becky. We there's haven't. Becky. She wasn't here earlier. That's true. <laughs> Look at her hair. We've never seen it up like that. That looks Pretty. beautiful. She did it herself. Woo, all right, Becky. You mature little and girl. And turn it on, Cindy. Cindy, no. Crystal did her hair and makeup. And uh, I did my own hair. I did my hair. <laughs> well, like well, the same way. absolutely great. And all his makeup. He did all his makeup. Well, really, Grandpa's kind of losing his hair, but that's okay. <laughs> oh. Hey, his hey, hair is waving. Hey, take your red dog. Mickey, take listen to this. Take your red dog here. His hair is waving. Bye. <laughs> Okay. Hey, Red Dog. What's his name? Watch him leap in your face. Lucky. Lucky. Hi, Crystal. Lucky. Now we're going to go get the Red Dog. Where is the Red Dog? Now watch him fetch. Here, go. Oh, hey, hey. Run, Red Dog, run. Come on. Oh, what a dummy. Come here. Show him you can shake in. Sit, shake hands. Ooh, oh, boy. Good red dog. Oh, you smart. Red He's dog. college educated. Oh, uh, that's good. USC College of Dogs. <laughs> and here they are fighting over a ball to bring back to Grandpa. Uh-uh. And here Grandpa goes to shut the gate. Oh, look, hello there, Grandpa. Here's his lights hanging down. He still has his Christmas lights oh, yeah, on. Out, Show this out. disgrace. And look, the wind has blown his sign. And here, we're going to show you Grandpa's Christmas lights, which are still up. Uh, they're all blown and they're all blown away. away and it's January 19th. It's a long time after Christmas, but he still has them up. The war started. Yes. yes. So. January and the war and the Iraq 16th. The war started in Israel. Iraq. Yes. And now yeah. we're going to get another picture of Grandpa and the dog. Oh, there's the dogs. Go, dogs, go. There's, there's Christmas Grandpa. lights again. Hanging down. There's some Christmas lights right hey, there. The you guys are lazy showing the wrong bone. What a lazy bone. 8565. You're calling me a lazy bones? That does it. And here comes Grandpa. Move, Cindy, move. Yeah, give those pinkins to Becky. You just got it. Good. Watch this. Now.
Let's get the, re the photographer here. Recorder. And now we have the troublemaker. Thank you. You ain't welcome. Oh, okay, Gramps. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm not. Okay. Auntie Jeannie just got her exchange gift because she hasn't been over for a long time. And what have you got there, Jeannie? Uh, this is soap. Soap? Okay, and what else you got besides soap? A box. A box. With something in it. Empty box? <laughs> hey, look at the plastic. Mm -hmm. Hurry up, we want to see what's in it. You're too patient. I know, it's true. What is it? What is it? I can't wait. Oh, I'm, here's the key. Ooh, I'm, I love that. Cool. A diary. Wowie. Okay, James. What? This is our new update corner, and yes, the war has started. No and kidding. This yes. is the front no. page of the Los Angeles Times. More history. Iraqi oh, missiles. Yeah. Yeah. More Iraqi missiles hit Israel. Oh, worth money. Worth money. And you know if I really Becky, feel... hold it up, maybe take a good picture if that'll be worth money. I got it already. And do you know what I feel about do you know Saddam Hussein? That he's going to be really sorry. So that's why they call him Sodom Insane, huh? Yeah, Sodom Insane. Uh, and, uh, Saddam Hussein. <laughs> Sodom Insane. Uh. Yeah, like, he's married. Sodom is Insane. Let's call him that. Sodom in Insane. Um, well, it's really weird that he was so quiet and then just boom, hits him. Good. Did you know? Yes. Bravo. Israel, Bravo. he shot nine missiles. I think that was great. And this is when it was going off to disgrace by rap. And we have some reporters in Baghdad. Who's this over here? <laughs> we have several reporters in Baghdad today tell us that they cannot no longer tell us anything. Because it's and Because the people say. Okay? And that's. Uh, oh, and stay with us for the war crisis. I think this girl over here was one of the war protesters huh? here. She was going, Oh, peace. Yawn. Give it away, man. <laughs> peace, protesters. Peace yeah. in the Middle East. Shut up. You're so close to the girls. You're so close to the girls. We look like the orcas. You're too close. You need to be better. And the wife of Saddam Hussein has a very long name, and you can't say Saddam. Saddam. He's a dog. <laughs> Okay, three cheers for the servicemen. Yay! Now, this is another subject people well, are we, got, we have to tune out now. I'm sorry, wait, wait, folks. No, Grandpa. Our time has this run out. This is another subject that we talked about. How come President Bush, on his speech, he calls Black Saddam Hussein, Saddam Hussein. So, we really want to tell the President about that. His speech in the Middle East. Saddam Hussein. And I don't think so. I think that we should go to war and we should blow up Saddam Hussein. Amen. Praise the Lord. How are you? Hallelujah. Yes. Saddam Hussein's wife name name is Sajida Taharla Talpa. Oh yeah. Right, Jeannie. You're pretty intellectual. Lots of and we're going to have an Lots interview here. Oh, Grandpa, this is back to our... We want to hear about this magazine. Okay, this okay. is our war update of the crisis in the Middle East. This is, came to be a bestseller and this on will the be bestseller, bestseller list. Okay, this is War Patch. This is it, the deadline day. Every day it's out. Okay, this is deadline day. Okay. Now, next page. And these are products to Seoul, Van Hussein. Van Hussein. Wipe out Hussein. Looks like roll of tissue there. Fight me, how And. Okay, okay. up here. Mm -hmm. And there's lots of good things you can buy to ban. Okay, now, here we go. This is one of political. Weird guy. Isn't it? Now, this is um, a political joke, a favorite of mine. Go on this. Okay. Here go. We go. Onward. Onward. Go forward, you. Like and then it's January 15th, stupid, and then their clap. That's really a good time. Well, wait now, let's do that burn the flag one.
Okay. That's the one we gotta see next. And this is America. Okay. Why are people reacting this way? Why are they reacting this way? It shows them burn the flag. And then down below, it says, why don't they burn this one? And that looks like an Iraqi flag. That's pretty good. It is Iraqi flag. And, um, this is Hints of Peace and a good picture of President Bush and um, Saddam Hussein. And I really doubt it. Uh-huh. And um, pretty soon we will have um, war interviews about how kids feel about this. Correct. Okay. And this is our last thing. That shows where our troops this are. This is our troops and where they're stationed at. And really good. Well, it looks like, Becky Meeks, you've got a bestseller here. They probably sell around 10 million copies the first month. And also, if you And you probably will be a millionaire. And also, if you weren't listening... If you weren't listening earlier to our war update, this is the front of the Los Angeles Times. Iraqi missiles hit Israel. With very little damage, that is. And, um, now... Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, how I feel about the war, and then we will go to several other people. Okay. And right now, I feel that President Bush is doing really good, and he's doing the best of his ability. And Saddam Hussein's just another... So, then I do... Has been. No, he's... Or never was. No, wait, what's that? Oh, Hitler! Another Hitler. Hitler. And this won't be another Vietnam. I agree with President Bush, and I think he's doing a very good job banning Hussein. And now we will go on for a break for just a couple minutes, and then we will go to interview. And see you in a minute, Channel 7 War Crisis. That was Becky Meeks with her commentary on the war. Okay, crisis up, update center, and I would like to call in a couple teenagers, kids, teenagers. And we would like to uh, let it come to the center. Come to the center. Hear you answer questions based upon your expertise. Oh, okay, now stand back, grab us. So you can get both of us in the picture here. How do how do you best think that we could ban Hussein? What? Uh, what should we do with Hussein? I think we should kill us. He deserves it. Grandpa, try to both of us. Start. I'm the reporter, Grandpa. Remember? What do we do? How do we go about it? Um, I think that we sh it should be up to the president. Okay. Our president Bush. Okay, turn it back. I need to ask you. Now, here, um, Vicky, first, how do you feel about the war and how do you feel about those special people that have children who are going there? How do you feel about the children? I think the children feel very hurt because their parents are alive. But there's nothing we can really do, you know? Now, that that has to be over there fighting. Yes, to support our country. And support us, really support the United yeah. States. Right. And I think they're doing a really good job. And if you listen to earlier on Channel 7 News, they, they had um, a parent that had four kids, but the wife went over. It was really sad because the, the man had taken care of all the children. They were really all the family members are very upset. Okay, I'm going to have to interrupt you now. We have a station break. Okay. Our crisis updates over in the Middle East. And here's a couple of things we have already issued to you. And now I would like to um, call in another kid interview about how they feel about the war. Now I'll be asking them questions and the screen will be on both of us so you can no, get the real point no. of how it is here. And I'd like to call Jeannie Davis. Oh, Jeannie. Okay, <laughs> we have her Jeannie Davis. Age? Hey, what's your age? 12. Age is 12 and you live... Uh, Jeannie Davis, where do you live now? I live in Marina Valley. Here, let me ask the questions, Grandpa, okay?
I want to protest from it. No, but I just but wish how, they could talk it out. How, how do you feel that the people... You get the boys looking at them too fast. How do you feel that the people... How, why do you think that the anti-war protesters, why do you... Why do you think they're acting this dumb? Do you think that that would be one of your decisions? It's the way they feel. One? Really didn't want what happened? It's the way they feel. Um, Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, uh, what, what if we do what we did with Hitler's? We said we want to. We don't want to get in a, the war. We'll just stay out of the war. But then he conquered England and uh, um, France and... Well, he didn't conquer England, excuse me. Yeah, France and so all those countries killed all those people, and then we still had to go to war to stop him. Also, um, I, now, what, I what heard if we a let, lot of people say peace in the Middle East, and you're all for that, right? But yes. you won't as go as far as being an anti-war protester, but you will say all this stuff, but you won't go out and show me what you want. No. See, I think they shouldn't do it, but they should, like, talk it out. But if they want to go to war, that's their feeling. But don't, don't you think that is entirely up to President Bush? I don't think that we can really control him. I think that he's doing the best job, and I really think that we should just leave him be, and he'll make the best decisions for us, because that's why we voted for President Bush to be our president. Mm -hmm. Do you support the president? Yeah. 100%. Yeah. How about Absolutely. our troops over there? Do you support our troops? Yeah, you know, go. Go. Well, now we have to Very go good. We're going to take another station break and here. And we'll, we'll be back for another interview. Thank you very much. Okay. We have one of the go with you too. local <laughs> people. Uh, I'm, I'm we really would like to interview uh, you, sir. I'm What's your name? My brother. Your brother? Chris. What's his name? Chris? And what do you think about the war, sir? Hey, it's Oscar. You think we're doing the right thing? Thank you. Yes. Get in there. Get out the little. Okay. Box. Grams, is Grams. it okay if I, if me and Crystal go tell my mama where, where I'm going? Okay. Yeah, I still want to go for the finishing touch. Uh, you girls touch. are interrupting the important interview here. I still want to go for the finishing man, touch, so. though. Okay, Grandpa. Love you. Bye. Wait, wait now. Easy, girl. We gotta get a shot of you crying too, so we know all about crying. And whether you're like all other babies, you cry and you laugh. Uh oh. Did Grandma teach you or what? She's hungry? Yeah. Where do you put these? Because she's hungry and she's dirty. Um. Oh. Sit it out. Is he upstairs again? No, he's in the bathroom. Hello? Oh, he didn't quit. I guess they hung up. She's squeezed hard. I know. It doesn't hurt him. No, it doesn't hurt him. Don't lay her down in her diaper, that's the main thing. What's caused it to take so long is she um, lays on her stomach. I think what the doctor told I want to show you something. Well, hold her up there and let's see if she's mistreated or not. Looks just like her. Looks like her, doesn't it? Yeah. 
When are you guys going to get through dressing her?